We're Ashley and Jordan. Since May of 2019, we've been traveling the world full time. Most recently, we've been soaking up the Fiji sun here in Paradise Cove. We've loved our stay here so much, we wanted to show you around our new favorite beach destination, the Osawa Islands. At the end of the tour, we'll break down pricing for our stay here at Paradise Cove. Welcome to Paradise. Bula from beautiful Yasawa Islands of Fiji. Y'all have seen us here having the best time on this island here at Paradise Cove Resort, but we wanted to give you a little more in depth of this resort in particular. This isn't sponsored, they didn't ask us to do it, but we've been having such a great time that we wanted to kind of share what all this particular resort has to offer because it's quite a lot. So we're starting out on the beach. We're gonna take you around to some of the amenities, the activities, the pools, our villa. We'll do a little tour there at the end, but let's just get going and we'll show you around. Okay, so for lounging around during the day, if the beach isn't your thing, Paradise Cove has two main areas to swim. They have this area right in the middle of the heart of everything, which is for everybody, kids, adults. And then they have a section called the Cove, which we'll show you in a minute, that is adults only, very quiet. There's hardly ever anyone there. And it's got two pools and a restaurant and a bar. So lots to be had, whether you want to be around the little ones or bring your little ones with you or have a nice romantic quiet day. Let's go look. So back at the main part of the resort, we have the main bar area and the main restaurant, which is called The Rock. There's also a second restaurant over in the adults only section called The Cove, which is also the name of the adults only section. So easy to find, super delicious. The Cove actually has like a whole separate menu with a lot of healthy options, which we really love. So let's keep moving. Moving on, we're gonna show you a few amenities that will be especially important to you if you have kids in tow, little or big. Okay, so Paradise Cove, we have found it to be quite kid friendly and just behind me is the kids club and then further behind that is the teens club, which is more of just like a really cool yurt with like games and bean bags. So the teen place is a lot more chill, but the kids club has activities all day. I think they even do special meals. Like if you wanna eat before meal time at the main restaurant, they can do like a kid's meal. They have uh, babysitters that you can pay and they'll take the kids all day. Lots of playground and lots of cool stuff. It's like, it's pretty great if you've got little ones, I think. I don't have any, but I would assume. <laughs> Just past the teens club is the gym. And it's a relatively small gym, but I've seen that it has pretty much everything you can need. There's free weights, dumbbells, various benches, there's a lap pull down machine, there's an elliptical, and there's a couple of treadmills as well. And there's of course water inside to keep you hydrated here on the island. Also, the ellipticals and the treadmills look out to a beautiful view where you can also do yoga out here in the breeze. Okay, and if you want a more rugged, more local workout experience, you can take the walking track, which is just outside the teens club, and follow it all the way to the other side of the island if you want to and go to the beach. But on the way, it is dotted with workout stations. Some feel a little bit CrossFit, some are more simplistic, but you can do some pull-ups and some chin-ups with the most epic view. So all along the bushwalk, there are workout stations with some like equipment that you might find at the park, you know, like some plyometric boxes you can jump on, a few kind of bare minimum dumbbells. And just in front of me is a pull-up bar with the most epic view. I can't do a pull-up or a chin-up, but man, I've tried with this view. Look at it. important when hiking in Fiji to stay hydrated. We're doing this in the morning, but the sun is still rough, y'all. Drink your water. Okay, 
¡Pula! Okay, there is also, of course, a spa on the island. A resort is not complete without one, and your vacation wouldn't be complete either because I took a look and the prices are pretty reasonable for like resort prices. You can get a one hour massage for about 60 or 70 USD. That's pretty, pretty decent, I feel like. Let's keep going. We also have an up to the minute weather report all day, every day here at the resort. It is currently mildly breezy and warm. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it over to the cove, the adults only section. It has two pools, as I mentioned. It also has the boat bar, which I think is my favorite place if I were to have a little cocktail here. Very calm, very chill. Also, insider's tip, there is Wi-Fi over here at the boat bar and it seems to work better than anywhere else. Hmm. So we've made it over here to the dive shop on the beach and at the dive shop they have so much equipment and so many activities that you can do which is all or mostly included in your resort fees here with your room. For free they have stand up paddle boarding, kayaking and a big inflatable floating playground. That was fun. So much fun. Have snorkeling equipment for you to just take whenever you want you can also check it out for the duration of your stay and return it at the very end and right on the beach here there are a lot of coral reefs so the snorkeling here is actually really really good you don't even need to go out on a boat anywhere you can stay here on the beach at the resort the whole time There's just so many activities. They also have, if you want to and adventurous enough, you can go out to various different villages. You can go hiking on the island.
Yeah. This morning, Sunday morning, we went to the Soso Village and attended church service, which was a wonderful experience. I highly recommend doing that if you're here and get the chance. village it is time to catch our ride back to our island They also have a local market where local um, Fijians bring in some of their handmade products that you can buy. Ashley got a bracelet. Yeah, there are so many wonderful things here to do to keep you busy for your entire stay. Welcome to Villa 42. Welcome to our villa. On entry, first off there's gorgeous views, but we are gonna save the best for last and show you that at the very end. First off is a gorgeous seating area with tons of room. I think you could have a small party in here. It is beautiful. We've even got a little TV. We've got lots of nice cross breeze because everything is open air and you just have to embrace the elements. It's a little muggy, it's hot, it's beautiful. So let's come through. Next up, just a couple of stairs, is the bedroom area. It is stunning, it's breezy. There are lots of little bug friends here on this island, so you definitely need a little net to keep everybody away while you sleep. But it's great ambiance, it's so beautiful, and let's keep going. Moving through the villa, away from the bedroom area, we've got a little desk area. If you need to be on your computer, you don't. You're in Fiji, don't work. And then keep going and we've got a mini bar area which, surprise surprise, is included. There is tea, coffee, they've given us a couple of wines, a couple of beer options, some sodas, lots of water. Honestly, that was just a really nice bonus because Jordan and I usually wouldn't drink at a place like this because, you know, we're cheap and we're on a year of travel. We gotta save that money, honey. But we are totally gonna enjoy a beer or a wine or two on our gorgeous patio later. Come on. Continuing through our little hallway slash wardrobe, we have our quite large closet area. 
including two soft fluffy robes which I will make excellent use of a little bit later today. Let's keep going and see the bathroom which honestly that doesn't that's I don't even know what to call it. It's not a bathroom it's like an oasis. Let's go. Look at this place y'all. It's I want to be like a little quiet because it is open and so people probably could hear you but it is stunning. It's incredible. It's like lush. It's the most beautiful outdoor bathroom oasis I've ever seen. Honestly, it like, I came around the corner when we first got here and I like ran back and I said, Jordan, 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 you need to come see it right now. You need to come see it right now. <laughs> we got upgraded, you guys. We got like legit upgraded. He was taking me and I'm like, this is, this is beach. We're going to the beach. We didn't book the beach. I'm so excited. We got a beachfront villa. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is insane. This place is awesome. What? We got an outdoor shower? plants everywhere kind of in with you. You really feel like you're, you know, getting clean out amongst the Fiji nature. It's so beautiful and so special. But you know what's most special, y'all? The view. We have saved the best for last. Let's walk all the way back to where we started and show you what is out our front door. Well, that will about wrap up our tour at Paradise Cove Resort in the Yasawa Islands of Fiji. We hope you enjoyed a little look around at where we've been staying. We cannot recommend this place enough. Highly recommend. Five stars. Wood Resort again. We love you, Naka. I still touched the button on the gimbal. <laughs> <laughs>